What's up everybody, this is uh, Mike Guth, also known as Mad Mike. This is uh, my DIY spot, and we're gonna have a jam here this weekend. We got the GT guys in town, they're uh, helping me build some ramps. I got some, some local friends that are helping me, and uh, a lot of things here are, um, a lot of donated things or things that people didn't want. Stuff from my house that I renovated. Just a, a lot of garbage made to good use, really. So this is the 60-40 rail I made. It's uh, actually made out of a futon bed frame. Doesn't really work well for what it's for, but it's uh, pretty beat to hell too. I mean, if you look at it, it's, it's got a bunch of flat spots on it. Very hard to ride, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty good actually, it's pretty fun. This rail thing I made the one day, it's just kind of had rails sitting around. Dustin's using it as like a, a, a prop for now, so don't, don't mind him, but it was just something, I needed something different to do, so threw a bunch of rails together and came up with some pole jams this way and that way and whatever the hell you want to do on it, you could, uh, you could do. It's solid. So here we have the wave ledge. It's actually, I wanted to make a grind box, but I didn't want something that was just normal, you know, your grind box where you just do the same shit over it or a couple new tricks that everybody else is doing. So, so I threw the wave in it, you know? Over here we have the brand new wall ride ramp that I didn't build. The rest of the guys did, so hats off to them. Thanks guys. Rode it a couple times so far, but it's real solid too. It's got a little bit of a slant to it, so you can trick into it, trick out. Got it. This ramp here, it's like a bunch of grind boxes and wedges thrown in once. It has uh, decking on it. It's like that recyclable decking stuff. It slides real good. It was actually left over from my, uh, my in-law's deck. This was actually uh, Jeff Z's idea. Make a roller coaster rail, something everybody would you know, enjoy and ride and love. And Actually, BK just helped me make this up in my garage, and uh, I was trying to give him a couple welding lessons. It's, it's solid, it's slapped together, but it's solid. So now we have here the torpedo ramp. This is an old water softener tank from my in-law's house. There's went, and this was getting thrown out for scrap, so I figured, hey, this would be a cool, cool object to, it's well to do a old table, like an old welding table. It works, it's solid, and it's got a pair of handlebars welded to it for like a gusset, you know. So we've got a handrail, that was in my basement of my new house that I ripped out. So here we have just a big mess of shit thrown in a pile here, but it's it's good, you know what I mean? It, it all it all does its, its purposes. We got some pallets over here with some plywood on it. We have uh, some angle iron, some more of that plastic stuff. It's thinner and it didn't work out how I wanted to. Like the heat, I don't know, it, like it started waving, but so I just threw angle iron over it and it works. We got some bump jumps here that actually hold the ledge up, so. You could go with it, whatever. This was actually a table that my mother gave me for my new house, which I didn't like it. Somebody gave it to her. It ended up here. <laughs> Thanks, mom. <laughs> the puzzle piece ramp, how about that? We'll call that the puzzle piece ramp because it had a bunch of holes in it earlier and we fixed it up real nice. It's got some paneling, some plywood, some... It's good to go. It matches the tailgate because the tailgate's beat to hell, which actually, you know, I'm hyped on that tailgate because uh, I got that from a friend, I helped him uh, cut his truck up. He didn't get the title from it because the person he was supposed to get the title from died, so we had to cut it up. Long story short, shit happens, and uh, here's the tailgate. I wanted to keep it because I thought it'd be cool to, you know, ramp up. And then here we have the grind box that Dakota built. He built that, and it was just like a flat box we had sitting around and uh, kind of added it to this heap. And I uh, had the pole jam laying around. We really had nowhere to mount it, so I put it on top of that, and it seems to work out real good. I mean, so we are here. We have a uh, quarter pipe that uh, the super quarter. It's not very wide, but it's a super quarter. Um, Dakota made it. He's right over there. Thanks, Dakota. And then we have this was actually the first quarter pipe I built here, and uh, I was actually demoing my house and uh, the, ripped out all the paneling and stuff. So I uh, figured, hey, might as well do something with it, and I put it on here, and it actually held up really good. It's it's pretty solid, it's weathered to hell, but it works good. I got a little patch job there on the bottom, but uh, it's super steep. It's not very, it's like more of a lip trick one. You can air it if you try, I mean, go for it. It's not easy to do, but anything's possible, really, look at this place. Here we have this, I don't know what I was going for here. I, I had an idea and kind of just, it's like, ah, I don't feel like doing nothing with it, and I just, I left it there. I'm sure somebody will do something with it, you know? And we have this quarter pipe here. All, there's all four different transitions too. So, I mean, if you, you got all different types of flavors that you want here, so. We got uh, this quarter. There's actually, this is a tabletop, a picnic tabletop underneath there. 
we had a table, picnic table here a while ago. It got broken from riding on it, so we added it to something else. So that helps. Infamous Direct TV, which obviously you see Direct TV is not that good. So I don't know where I was going with that. But yeah, no, there's a satellite dish. I ripped it off my roof. It was at the house. It was shot. It was one of the last things to go from the demolition. So it ended up here. It's it's still good. I mean, it works. You can move, you can move it. Adjust your signal, however you want to get, a, you know, your ramp perception, whatever, you know. And here we have this one. It's uh, kind of like a slant. You know, it's like a slant quarter in a way. But uh, I wanted to make something different instead of like a, your straight sub box to stall on. So I made it, you know, angled down like that. And it actually, it's, it's real fun. It's something different. The top got beat up real bad. And uh, I got this countertop off of a guy I work with and just, I cut it to fit. And it's actually, it's real solid. It's good. I mean, that's falling off, but that's all right. So this side was actually, I tried to match it with the, the slant. It's almost like, uh, tried to make it quarter, but with the way the angle was, I just, I didn't do it right. I don't know, but it works. It's like a slant wall type quarter thing. But it, hey, you know, it is what it is. I, I like it, it's cool. Some peg marks here. Got some, some, you know peg marks and then we got Dustin over here he's building something new thanks Dustin yeah. looks pretty good I mean I don't know well that's a walk through a run of my DIY spot um shout out to everybody that came out to help me from all the times that I had it here um hope to see everybody Sunday come down and uh do what you want have fun hang out do whatever meet people ride bring your families it's a great place to just hang out um Check on the GT Instagram or my Instagram and about the, the flyer that's on it. It has the, the time, which is 12 to 5, the address, and uh, where it's at. So hope to see you guys there. Thanks.